Hi everybody, um, this is a long overdue video. Um, when I first made my YouTube channel, one of the first videos I did was a skincare routine, and that was before I went to school for makeup, and uh, before I even moved to um, Florida, so I'm gonna, you know, do a new one, and how I've been doing my makeup lately, um, and I like this a lot. Um, I would say real quick, um, that I normally do my eyes first, because Fallout usually will occur with eyeshadow a good portion of the time, not always. So doing your face after um, prevents any mess, you know. So, um, and it doesn't give that shadow anywhere to stick to. But for the sake of today's video, being that most people do their face before their eyes, I'm going to do my face first. Now, um, I use cosmetic wedges. You can see this side's clean and this side's dirty. I know you're supposed to throw them out after every time with the bacteria, and if I was working on a client, obviously I wouldn't use one that was used. But on myself, I used this yesterday. I sprayed it with alcohol right before I went in the shower, so it's dry now and sanitary. Um, <clears throat> I usually use it two or three times, and then I toss it, and I spray it with alcohol in between uses to make sure it's clean. You could just put uh, one of these bottles from Sally's. This was a dollar. You could put um, pour your alcohol in here and it spritzes. It's a good way to keep things sanitary. Um, yeah, so I just got a shower so ignore how I'm looking. So I'm using, to start off with a, a face primer. I use whatever I want. I have a couple different ones. Uh, today I'm using That Gal. It's by Benefit. It's a sample size. And I use like about that much, like a little squirt. And I'm going to go ahead and I put like a dot on all different areas and I just dab it in with my sponge just so I have a nice area to work with. Ignore the lighting. I know it's not good. It's because this is my MacBook. I'm going to try and get a flip camera one so I know the lighting will be better because I've realized a lot of people shoot with those. And they're not too expensive, but it might be a little while before I get it. So um, once that's on, it doesn't need to be perfect. I mean, this is I'm just doing the makeup for work. I'm going to go ahead with foundation, and I vary which foundation I use today. I'm using Studio Sculpt. It's got SPF 15. Living in Florida, you want something that's going to protect your face from the sun. And you can see I have this horrible blemish, so I'm going to show you how I cover that up, too. So I put a good size squirt. This stuff goes a long way, so that looks like more than it is on the camera. See, it's like a good size squirt. And I would go ahead and put, <laughs> this looks funny, but you have a good amount of time to work with this foundation so um, I just go ahead and start to dab it in I'm just looking in the mirror so I don't look like a crazy person because I can't really see what I'm doing too well out of the computer and I'm not putting a whole lot it's not like I'm going out I'm just going to work Actually, I'm going to apply to Mac, so I'm hoping I'll get a job there soon because I'm about to start college back up because I moved and stuff and changed my mind about what I want to do with my life. And I love makeup, don't get me wrong, but there's not enough money in it for me right now, and I'm working. So, once you have that in well enough, I just put like a light amount all over my whole face. I can't tell too much on the camera here, but maybe you can see it's a little bit more, um, I wouldn't say flawless, but more flawless than before, a little bit more even um, throughout my face. <clears throat> then I go into concealers, and I'm using two, both from MAC, uh, NW, <clears throat> I use foundation NC25, <clears throat> my concealers are NW20. The C stands for cool, the W stands for warm. You always want your concealer a shade lighter because, especially if you're popping under the eyes, you want that to be a little bit brighter to reduce the idea of bags. And the warm tone cancels out any blueness and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> I use this one. This one is the Studio Finish Concealer on blemishes, like you see this guy right here. So, I'm going to pat it in a circle motion to get all around it. And I don't obsess over it. It doesn't bother me too much, but... You could definitely put more if you're really trying to cover it. You could do a couple layers. I go down the bridge of my nose a little. Because I don't wear a lot of foundation. That foundation is buildable, but I don't like to wear a lot. And I put a little 
bit above the eyebrows. You can go around the mouth if you want, sides of the nose if you're red from hormones. And that's really it for the studio finish. Then I'll go in with this one, it's a select moisture cover. This is the one I like for under my eyes. And I put like a dot there and there. That will just conceal my bags. If you have really bad under eye bags, like, you know, or you really didn't get sleep the night before, I would recommend um, Benefits Erase Paste. This is the sample size one. I have a big one, but I gave it to my mom because being a little older, she's got more bags than I do. It's a little bit of a salmon color within that, and a little bit goes an extremely long way. I would wait till Christmas if you want to test this out because Benefits. Actually, even now, I think they have some out at Sephora. Benefit comes out with a lot of, like, great, like, small-sized packages of a bunch of different products. So, um, then I go ahead and use my MAC Mineral Skin Finish in Medium is my color, and I'm pretty fair. I'm just going to take any powder brush. This one is, uh, from, uh, Crown Brushes. It's the C108 Flat Bronzer Brush. I feel like that. And I just buff it in to set all my concealer and foundation. And you can see I don't go crazy with it. Then I'm going to contour my face and you could use, there's a variety of shit, oh excuse me, stuff you could use. <laughs> I'm so bad. Um, you can use a mineralized skin finish in a deeper color. This is medium deep. That's how it's out. Um, I'm using just this little thing I depotted from my um, uh, old makeup kit from school because it was just a great shade for me. And I ordered a lot of stuff from MAC. Um, you could use something from like NARS, the darker color. Something a couple shades darker than your skin. I prefer powders, but you could use creams and stuff. I, knew, I know the new MAC collection has that Surf Baby, uh, whatever it is. It comes with a cream stick. You could use one of those and blend it out. I have to do this in the mirror. So right under my cheek, want to see how scary that looks? I do that on both sides. You don't want to go all the way here, because then it's going to look like tiger lines. So this buffs in really easy. I buff it up into the cheekbone and towards the ear. And that's how you contour. I'm going to do a more in-depth video on contouring, a little less sloppy um, for you guys. I'm going to try to get back into the swing of things and really make videos for you, because you guys deserve it. <laughs> then a little more of my regular face powder, the medium. I just buff it out a bit so it's nice and blended. Then you can go ahead with your brush, and I like to use an angled brush. You could use any. Um, I have a couple of them from different places. This one's a crown one. I like it a lot. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than the MAC one. I'm going to be using this MAC color. It's called Buff. You can see it's nice dent in it. And I just give it a couple pats, and I go right above the contour on the cheekbone. That's how I started out. This is a good natural color blush if you're fair. I would recommend it. And then I smile. Bring it out a bit. It sucks that you, it's so washed out and you can't really see what I'm doing. But I want to take pictures so you can see at the end of. Well, you can see a little bit on this cheek, there's some color, there's a little depth to the side of the face. Now to continue my contouring, well, first I would actually blend out my blush a little, that's what I normally do. But then to finish out my contouring, I would go ahead with that same powder I use on my cheeks. And I think my nose is a little bit big, not really from the front, but from the side, it's huge to me. So I put it here to make my nose look like it's a little shorter at the bottom of the nose and I bl you gotta blend this out good do not put too much product because you don't want it to look obvious this is something you really want to look natural more so than your cheeks and then I put a little bit here and a little bit here and I just blend it up on the sides to give the illusion of a smaller nose I just blend that and then take some of your regular face powder and use that to help you blend it and you can put as much as you want I'm not going crazy with it today and then I'm going to go ahead with the highlight. Today I'm using Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, which looks like this. Really nice. And I'm going to use 
a brush like this. This is also from Crown Brushes. These are also great to clean your fake eyelashes. If somebody wants to see how I clean my fake eyelashes, let me know. Then I go down the bridge of the nose. And then right here on the cupid's bow and around the top of the lip. I put a teeny bit over here, teeny bit on my forehead because that's a feminine trait to have a dome forehead. Men don't have that. And go right above my blush on my upper cheekbone. Some people like to do a C motion like that, like a backward C and around. Doesn't really matter too much. I'm going to work. <laughs> but this is how I basically do my makeup from a day to day basis. You know, nothing fancy if I'm not going out. If you want to see something crazy, let me know. I'd love to help you guys out and do that for you. So then again, I'll just blend one more time. And my face looks good. You could also highlight right here if you want, above the eyebrows. But I usually will do that after I fill in my brows. So um, to go ahead and set my face makeup, I use MAC Fix Plus, which I love. I'll hold it far away and spray. Two spritzes usually does it for me. Sometimes I miss my face, so if that looked really weird, don't whoa, be freaked out. Um, and sometimes you'll get a little extra like red in some spot. It always happens to be on my forehead. You can see there's a lot of shine right there. This is also from Crown Brushes. It's just a spongy little brush. It's called CO1 Maxi Mop. And I just dab that where there's too much, and it'll absorb a little. I love Fix Plus. And now they're coming out with the mini ones. I want to get one for my purse, but for 10 bucks, you know, might as well get the big one for 15 So I'm going to see if there's a little bottle I can get for somewhere else for cheap. And if I do, I'll let you know. I know I talk fast, guys. Sorry about that. So um, that's really how I do my face. I'm going to go ahead and do an eye tutorial now. So I hope you have a nice day. And if you want to see how I do my eyes, go ahead and click the video. I'll link it. Probably by tomorrow I'll have everything up and linked underneath so you could go ahead and watch this and then do the eyes or whichever way you want. So, um, yeah. Bye.